What's up, family? What's going on? It's your boy, Sir Loco. You know what time it is. Dropping another banger, dropping some heat. It's a throwback day, throwback video, uh, slash like short review, just a history really of uh, the countdown pack. And that's what I have here. And uh, you know, I could do a whole full review on each of these shoes, but I'm just gonna do a quick uh, overview of the shoe. And obviously there's a lot more to the shoes uh, than what I'm gonna be giving y'all today. But I'm very excited, I'm very stoked. Uh, before I get started, hit that thumbs up, hit that like, share, hit that uh, subscribe button, and uh, hit that notification bell, you know, cause your boy Sir Loco, you know, hey, always drop you some, some heat, you know what I mean? So with that being said, uh, let's get into it. So this is the Countdown Pack. I don't know if any of y'all ever heard of the Countdown Pack. It uh, released in 2008. So this thing is, what, 13? 14 years old, let's see, 2008, 16, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. So this release is, and these shoes that I have here and the box that I have here is 13 years old. So a lot of history. So like I said, with Jordan brand and, and most of the shoes, they all have a story to tell. And definitely this countdown pack definitely does. And uh, what they did was, in the anticipation and the release of Jordan 23, you know, they decided to drop the countdown pack. And what they did was pair two pairs of uh, your favorite Jordans, adding up to number 23, both for, I believe, for, you know, the dropping of the 23, Jordan 23 silhouette. And also, too, because of the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan, uh, jersey number was 23 as well. So that's pretty dope. So, for example, like the, the ones I have in hand, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Jordan 2. And a Jordan 21, you know, and, and they add up to, you know, the number 23. So they did that from pack one through pack 12. And this is pack number two. So, for example, like pack number one had an Air Jordan 1 and uh, Jordan 22. So if you had the 22 and the 1, that, that equaled, uh, you know, 23. And they did that on all the drops. And, and, and the other ones have your favorite silhouettes. And one of the most popular ones was the Jordan 11s and the Jordan 12s, which I think by far was the best uh, besides these, to be honest, uh, uh, the best pairing, if you will, because uh, a couple of them silhouettes came with uh, one good shoe and uh, another one not so good or sought after, you know, you know, you know. So, for example, like a Jordan 3, they'll pair it with... Uh, Jordan 20 or whatever, you know, vice versa. So anyway, so in 2008, these retail for $310. And so the 23, the Jordan 23 released, I believe either in April or February, I, I believe it's February. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. February of 2008. And, and each month after that, they dropped the pack. And, and I thought that was dope, man, that was dope. Dope, I give big props. To uh, Jordan brand and Nike, well Nike it wasn't Nike then, you know, 2008. But Jordan brand for for doing that, and uh, man, I'm excited. And uh, both of these, both of those shoes, you know, came in this box. You know, still in great condition. They're still DS. We're gonna keep them there so you can see the Roman numeral numbers for all the Jordans that came out of the silhouettes one through 22 and uh, you know you got your, your, your jump man there you know that's awesome so both of these boxes came in that and uh, so that's pretty cool so I don't know drop a comment let me know if y'all have ever heard of the countdown pack and they dropped different different packs but with different names you know but as far as the countdown pack 2008 you know and i don't believe if someone correct me again i don't believe that they've done that again you know calling it the countdown pack and whatnot you know so uh with that being said uh i'll talk about the shoe here shoes here in a little bit just a quick history of the shoe but with the box what i think is cool and i'm gonna give a close-up on it right here in a bit you can see Michael Jordan, you know, there on the box. So uh, let me give you a better angle and a close up on what I have here, you know, so sit tight and enjoy the ride.
So here it is. Behold the Beauty, the Countdown Pack, 2008. And this is pack number two, like I said. The one with the white silhouette, that's the Jordan 2. The black and red ones, that's Jordan 21. And uh, get a close-up of the box. You know, the, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Michael Jordan. And as you can see, they have all the silhouettes that drop. You know, the shoe and the bags in the way. Check that out. You got 22, 21, 20, 19, all the way on down. They got all the silhouettes that had dropped, like I said, prior to or in celebration of the new release of the Jordan 23. And that's how these countdown packs came to be. You know, get this out the way. There you go, a little bit better lighting. That's all the silhouettes, all the Jordans that, that, that dropped throughout the years. And then he, Michael Jordan himself wrote a special message to Jordan Brand. And uh, basically says, Dear Jordan Ambassador, I want to thank our most loyal Jordan Ambassadors for your allegiance and support through the past 23 years. Suffice it to say that the Air Jordan, its success, mystique, and fearless innovation over the years has played a profound role in my career. To help celebrate this banner year, we're releasing the Air Jordan Countdown 23 pack. A commemorative two-pack that will honor the complete legacy of the Air Jordan franchise. Each Countdown 23 pack will bring you two Air Jordans that celebrate the number 23 in a unique way. Ultimately, it's a way for us to show our appreciation. You are champions of the Jordan brand, and so it rests on your shoulders to be authentic, to never compromise, to earn respect, and to aspire to greatness, because this legacy is ultimately yours to carry into the future. Thank you, Michael Jordan. And like I said, I paid uh, resale on these because obviously, you know, 2008, these dropped in 2008. So your boy paid resale for it and it's worth it. And this black suede, this 21 here, the black is a little faded, but shoot, 13 years, what do you expect, you know? And every shoe has a story and that's, this particular model here, I guess I'll start off with the 21. Uh, like I said, it's just going to be a quick overview, quick history. Uh, there's a lot more to the shoes, to each of the shoes. But I just wanted to do, you know, bring you out the countdown pack, you know, 2008. So hopefully y'all like it. Hopefully it'll intrigue your interest to, you know, look into uh, some old school stuff, original stuff. If, if, if the pricing is right, obviously. But I'm definitely hoping they drop something else like this again, which I'm not sure if they will or not, but that would be cool. So the designer of the Jordan 21 is Dwayne Edwards. He designed the Jordan 21 and uh, he kind of dubbed this shoe the DNA of a champion. And these... Released in 2006, the, the Jordan 21s, and they came in, uh, I believe, four original colorways and two two low tops, I believe. And you can see the 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 vents there, and that has a story as well. Uh, but going back to the DNA of a champion and Dwayne Edwards, he wanted to bring elegance, he wanted to bring technology, and this shoe is full of technology. And I'm only going to be able to give y'all a little bit because there's, there's just so much into this that went into this shoe. And uh, as you can see, going back to the DNA of a champion, check out the outsole. Okay, 
Now, if you look up uh, in the medical field or Google it, look 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 up uh, DNA, and it'll give you like designs like uh, this outsole has, which I think is pretty cool. That's the DNA sign right there. The little circle things going all you know across the the outsole there. <laughs> Tell me that ain't cool. The DNA of a champion, and then they got DNA signs on the outsole. Those black deals there, you have the, uh, I'm not sure if this particular uh, shoe, the 21, was the first time that, you know, they they used, uh, which is called a IPS system, Integrated Podular System, and, you know, for support and bounce, you know, and then it's no secret, Michael Jordan is a fan of cars. Hence uh, the side deals there. A Bentley Continental GT Coupe. You know, Jordan was uh, into a lot of things. And he was definitely into cars. And so that little side deal there and here represents and looks like the grill. The grill of a Bentley Continental GT. Ha! <laughs> That's cool as hell. And you got an upper made of suede. New Buck suede. And you got this uh, extra bag, which is pretty cool because, man, this is dope. Uh, it's got some AirPods in here. And I'll try to get them out. At least one of them. Check that out. Interchangeable pods. And that goes on the heel part. So it came with an extra bag. Hence is why you see. And the only one you can change is this one here on the heel. And which by the way. Has a jump man in there. And then uh, you got the carbon fiber. You see that right there. Shank. Carbon fiber shank for support. And then you got like that Bentley grill material on this side too as well. That's dope. It looks like a moon, doesn't it? Crescent moon. And that's that's suede material too, and that's like a mesh, but it's not. Uh, this mesh here is not breathable or functionable. Actually, I thought it was, and I'll show y'all here in a minute. You got your your red uh, eyelids or I. Whatever you call those deals. <laughs> metallic, like plastic, metallic red. Uh, check out the inside. Check out the inside. And, and it's stitched, earned on both of them. Now, this one here, you, they messed up on the stitching here, but it doesn't look like an E. But it says earned. That's dope. And check out the, the, the stitching and the quilting on the inside. Diamond. Diamond quilt. Diamond quilt. That is dope. Jordan Brand has always been about elegance, class, and, uh, you know, adding technology and new materials to their shoes, man. There ain't no doubt about that. Look at that quilt on the insole. It looks well padded. But going back to that pod podular system interchangeable I believe let me see how the heck do you change it I'm trying to and it says 23 like saying commemorative of uh, of uh, you know the release of, of the Jordan 23 I believe you got to take the outsole out and you could change uh, you know the air pods either more bounce or, or not more bounce you know but that's pretty dope good materials oh in the back before I forget and that's all suede to the black and then you got like uh, 
plastic there and it's kind of somewhat of a homage to uh the retro 7 because they have some similar to that in the back just not as big you know you got the jump man there like i said i got all the technology carbon fiber bentley grill suede you got the jump man there in the front uh, and then it's got a little pouch here uh, and here on the tongue I don't know if you can see there you go a little faded there obviously but you got 2x and a 1 21 for the shoe and this has a little deal here too and this opens up it's like a little pouch if you will so this is a cool pack and th these were one of the the least sought after packs i don't know why people are sleeping you know so that was your quick overview of your 21 now the jordan 2 i could go on and on and on and uh it originally released in 1986 for right around $106. And now that was a big jump compared to the Jordan 1, which, you know, ran about $60, $65. And the designers of uh, the Jordan 2s was uh, Bruce Kil Kilgore and Peter Moore. And a fun fact about that is uh, they both got fired or let go as, as lead designers hence uh you know tinker hatfield in, in the jordan threes you know and the rest is history but this shoe here the jordan 2 like say released in 86 87 you know that year or, or the year prior michael jordan broke his foot so when he came back like mid mid-season the following uh year you know he wore these throughout the half of the year and they came out in uh two let's see uh like a home and away game home and away shoe now the all white midsole was considered a home game you know home games and then they came with a black midsole and so the black midsole represented you know he wore those at away games and another fun fact is uh let me rearrange these shoes here another fun fact about the two is check that i got 23 23 you got like nylon mesh insides insoles you know like i always say in my videos you know jordan uh brand and even nike back then with these uh you know always try to do a you know elegance style class and uh i think these are dope a lot of people overlook these twos and it's unfortunate that i mean they have retro these over the years but not as much i guess they don't get as much love uh the outsole you know you got your gray your red you got your jordan there but going back with the jordan two which took risky moves was the only Jordan, uh, you know, before, you know, Tinker, I guess, or in the beginning stages of Nike, if you will, that they didn't have a Nike swoosh. And that was a big risk and a gamble that they took. And the Jordan 2 was uh, produced in Italy. You believe that? The Jordan 2 was produced in Italy because they wanted the best materials. Now these, I don't think, you know, like I said, this is a 2008 version. Uh, I don't think it's it's original materials. But in 86, 87, they got produced in Italy and used the finest uh, materials. And this little pattern here that you see here is like uh, iguana. Iguana lizard pattern, as you can see there. you know on the inside part too check that out tell me that ain't class lizard iguana and then i like how it has that black and red you know lining there 
kind of separating it to the smooth leather here on the toe toe box this is smooth leather flat laces check out the tongue Air Jordan tongue with the basketball on the wings but right after these released like I said you know they got fired uh, the designer of these shoes which you know that I think they did a good job but Jordan didn't like wearing these too much he did wear them but he felt like they were more like dress shoes more than anything than performance shoes then you got the Nike in the back you got the white stitching you got the little rubber deal now another thing too is that uh, you can see it's kind of narrow there on the heel like on the bottom it ain't like your most of your traditional shoes they're like the same width you know it's, it's kind of narrows down on the bottom there a little bit but this is a dope shoe dope material and uh, you like i said there's more history to it but um just wanted to give a share this with y'all you know the history of the countdown pack 2008 and these boxes is pretty cool like i said they slide back and forth and uh you know i wanted to bring this to y'all and share some of this history and share some of these gems with y'all you know so hopefully y'all liked it hopefully y'all enjoyed it uh if you did you know drop a comment hit a thumbs up and please do subscribe and help support your boy so i can bring y'all more gems so with that being said i hope you're having a good day and uh until next time peace